I've always been taught that girls that, uh, you know, have esteem problems, it's always a result of not getting enough love. Oh, that girl's a stripper. Oh, nobody gave her a hug, right? So I'm like, my daughter, who I tell I love, I probably tell her I love her 50 to 75 times a day, and I'm hugging her. This girl who I tell is beautiful constantly tells me she doesn't like her hair. And that just got me thinking about combining the two things and just like make a movie about hair and the hair industry. So we combine the two and here you have good hair. You know, we sent it to Sundance because we just thought, you know, it's, it's such a weird movie and it's such a not the kind of thing I normally do. It's not like, it's so not a Hollywood cookie cutter movie. Once we got a cut we liked, it was like, hey, people start, we start looking at each other like, is this, is it me or is this good? I think this is good. Maybe we should try to get into the festival. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, let's give it a shot. I, I'm, I'm so honored to, for it to be in competition. That's like, you know, pretty much let any famous guy show up, but you know, they don't let everybody get in a competition. I'm, 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 I was, you know, even at this late date in my career, it's like, wow, really? Well, you know what's weird? This is probably the best movie I've done. You know, no disrespect to movies I've done before, and some of them have actually worked. This is probably the best movie I've done. And you gotta realize too, it's not like, it wasn't like a movie anybody thought I should be making. You know, it wasn't like I was ever encouraged to make the movie. <laughs> You know, people, you know, you meet people like, come on, Chris, right, you know. Can you just write a movie where you're a cop and catch some guy from Russia or something and break up an ecstasy ring? Come on, I'm trying to make money here. Fucking hair documentary, what the hell are you talking about?